and so i am trying to print this structure uh, this structure like this uh, to um, uh, for a long time but i am failing over and over again for a lot of trial and error i finally able to print it and now i am going to share the whole journey how can you print uh, this kind of thin structure thin curved structure uh, on a 3d printer um, so by the way i i just want to make it clear that i am using ender 3 v3 ke and uh, um, the maximum speed for this print uh, was default that uh, comes with our gas laser which is about uh, uh, 400 millimeter per second and the acceleration was a uh, default i haven't changed anything so i have uh, actually um, tried a lot of uh, things so uh, this this is kind of first model where i tried without additional uh, modification so uh, if you print it on orchid slicer, they will not suggest any kind of tree. I, even though I choose a uh, 30 degree automatic tree, uh, they haven't used support uh, for this uh, for this structure. So this is uh, kind of printed without any kind of support, and also this is also printed without any kind of support. Uh, let me show you. This is another. So it looks a lot better. Uh, the reason is uh, this is 0.4 millimeter and this is 0.8 millimeter. So there is two layer uh, in here. Also, this is this is also 0.8 millimeter. So in the 0.4 millimeter, uh, obviously uh, after some uh, some layers. So what happens is as the print uh, bed moves, it starts to vibrate this part. So as it is so thin uh, in the bottom, so it starts to vibrate and this vibration causes the extruder uh, to print ununiformly and that's why we kind of uh, see this kind of error and the same happens uh, happened here so you can see uh, this also printed without any kind of uh, support so after uh, the vibration starts uh, you can see that uh, this uh, there is some errors in the print so I, I had to stop the print and finally what I tried is this so here I used two support. I, I actually didn't use uh, the tree support. I actually used uh, the linear support. One in here and uh, the another in here. Those supports reduce the vibration uh, caused by the pr uh, print bed. So, and as a result, uh, I just got a very nice print. And uh, uh, and this is also 0.4 millimeter, same as this, but uh, it printed without any kind of errors. This is uh, my print bed, and I was trying to. Uh, uh, printing. So as you can see, even though I have uh, um, used the support, uh, the full support tree and uh, crash hold, uh, the angle is 30, uh, 30 degree. Uh, so I, if I slice the plate, as you can see, it, 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 it will not detect uh, the uh, overhead angle. So so uh, so the print actually will will fail. So what I do is during the preparation, I use. Uh, this thing called sub, um, support painting. So you will uh, paint where you need support. So what I do, I click the tool and see the bottom view. And from the bottom view, I just uh, I I just color or use the brush tool this part where I can um, I feel that there might be uh, a need of some support uh, so that uh, the it prints properly. So I add that, and then now uh, add something here. Now, if I stretch the plate, uh, so there you go. And now it will print um, very stable, uh, and also the the downside of this. Uh, that you need a lot of film. So as you can see, even though my total filament is 28 gram, but uh, my original model filament is just 30. So uh, it is just expensive, but you can uh, actually make this kind of complex shape, uh, which is cool. So that's it.